तो इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डेटा बेसिस वर्क ऑन द इंटरनेट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इंटरनेट इज वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इंटरनेट वर्क वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्सचेंजिंग डेटा ओवर द इंटरनेट ऑल ऑफ दिस विल हेल्प यू बेटर अंडरस्टैंड एंड बेटर डिवेलप द वेब बेस डेटा बेस एप्लीकेशन एंड इट विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड द इशूज एंड हाउ टू टेक केयर ऑफ दोज इशूज to be a successful web based database application developer so uh, when you are chatting with somebody your friend using your phone smartphone or using your computer and your friend is also using a smartphone or a computer at the other end maybe at other part of the world so in between there are maybe a dozen or so computers which are bridging that gap between yourself and between your friend that network of computers that group of connected computers those computers which bridge the gap running the tcp ip protocol those computers running those protocols over a telecommunication network that network is the internet internet is like a network of roads it is like a network of uh, telephone lines it is like a network of electrical wires in a building so over the network the traffic flows in the context of roads over the road network vehicles move in the context of uh, telecommunication network calls are moving and so on so internet is just like a network of course it is a network of networks it is a network of networks and it is running the tcp ip protocol which i'll discuss in more detail so i believe up till now you have gotten the picture so this uh, lecture or this module will consist of two parts one part is this the other part i will tell you shortly so in this module i will talk about what is internet and what internet does so when i say what is internet of course i will explaining to you how internet works very very briefly because the more details are in the next module which is how data moves on the internet and uh, very briefly uh, there are two methods of using or moving the data which is the circuit switching and packet switching i will go into a lot of details the circuit switching is between the two points a path is set it is dedicated to be exclusively used by person a person b computer a computer b that is circuit switching packet switching is that the data at a and b is divided into packets okay which can use different paths routes over the internet and arrive at destination may be lost during the process also and resend and reassemble and generate the message or whatever and how computers do different jobs on the internet so that is part of the next module so let's now go into uh, what is the internet so internet is a global system of interconnected computer interconnected computer networks it is a network of networks not of road networks but a network of computer networks which share the same protocol which is the tcp ip protocol okay and of course this protocol may be uh, a supporting non computing devices also because now we have something called as the iot internet of things we have sensors we have different things which are also connected over the internet so the primary precursor of the internet is arpanet the arpanet was developed in the 1970s to connect the university campuses and the defense establishments in the united states and that arpanet formed the backbone of the interconnection in the 1970s and then it evolved over the period of time and vincent cerf is the inventor of you can say is the 
uh, inventor of internet so uh, as i discussed earlier that because of the software architecture evolution and the revolution what has happened that that i'll discuss in the next slides so you see that we have this network of networks and i have this machine over here this machine over here and i have this connection over here it can be a dial up connection over here i have the service provider and of course i can communicate with this device also from here to here or from here to here and so on so this is this is what internet is so there is no central body there is no established a uh, structure because this these links these links can go down also these links can go down also and maybe new links come up also and so on so this is what internet is so what i was discussing that because of the architecture software architecture because of the proliferation and so many things there has been a tremendous adaptation of the internet and you can see that there is almost an exponential rise in the number of countries which are getting online and we can see that about 210 countries getting online in about 20 years so that is lot of countries in a very small amount of time now this adoption of internet is not limited to rich countries but also not so rich countries also as shown on the next slide as you can see over here uh, roughly uh, more than half of the world population over here okay they don't have kind of internet access in 2015 right or not in, in terms of percentage in terms of percentage per whatever right or not so the point over here is that there is a divide over here between the have and have nots a digital divide so of course it it takes money it costs money but the point is still there has been a tremendous proliferation of internet now let's briefly look at what internet does so very very basically internet moves data now what data it can be audio it can be video it could be text it could be anything else it could be combination also when we say data it means digital data so as the traffic moves cars move over a traffic network or a road network data moves over the internet so that's one purpose of internet internet is like a postal service meaning that the data moves from one point to other point the responsibility of the postal service is to ensure that the letter is delivered at the given address they are not concerned about the contents of the letter as long as the certain tickets are on that envelope they are not concerned about the contents as long as it's paper same is true for the internet the big difference is that postal service is governed by certain rules regulations owned by the government but internet is decentralized so it's not totally like a postal service it is neutral to data as i told you before that data could be any data it is just ones and zeros it could be audio it could be video it could be a combination it could be email it could be chat messages whatever and finally it is neutral to applications i could be running uh any application as a, as a matter of fact let me give you an example of skype now skype was developed by two uh, european developers okay they didn't had to change internet they didn't have to change any protocols they developed skype on top of the internet protocols they developed skype on top of the standard internet so that is one example of openness of internet also and another example of neutrality of applications over the internet skype using internet then whatsapp using internet and of course there will be many more applications to the benefit to our benefit okay which will be running on the internet because internet is neutral to applications that is one purpose of internet thanks for your time